Like a lot of people during quarantine, I went through the Animal Crossing phase. So I bought Infinity Key Islander back in May, and now it's finally here. Today, I'll be giving my impressions of this set and how Infinity Key compares to GMK. I'm comparing Infinity Key against GMK because both are chair profiles with a thickness of about one half millimeters. But Infinity Key uses PBT plastic with die subbed, while GMK uses ABS plastic with double shot. I really like how the base kit of the Islander set comes in a box versus a sleeve for GMK sets. I also really like how nicely packaged trays are in the box. On the first tray on top, we have the main alphas and modifier keys. This set came with a bag of fixed keys. The letters of the bottom row mods came out thicker than expected, so what included in this set are bottom row mods with thinner letters. In the second tray here, we have the numpad and navigation keys, along with ISO enters. The last tray at the very bottom has all the other extra keys for layout compatibility. You really get a lot of keys with just a base set. Whoops. The expansion kit for more uncommon layouts come with a sleeve instead of a box and there are two trays stacked on top of each other. Let's go ahead and see what the set looks like on an e-white keyboard. I think this set looks great. The Legends looks pretty nice, and the pastel color of the set definitely resembles the Animal Crossing Joy-Cons for the Switch. Let's start comparing this set to GMK. I found the thickness of both sets to be comparable. There were variances between keys on both sets, but the variances were basically the same. GMK and Affinity Key uses a different font from one another, but they are very similar. GMK uses Cherry's custom font, and Infinity Key looks to be using Helvetica's rounded bold. You can really see the differences on these keys here. I prefer the homing bars on GMK. The homing bars on Infinity Key are barely there. You can just see how much thicker the GMK homing bar is here. I also found the scoop keys for GMK sets to be more well, scooped, but the difference isn't too much here. The spacebars that I got were basically flat, and that was nice because PBT spacebars are prone to warping. Next up, let's listen to some typing tests. This is my first Infinity Key set, and I'm really impressed with it. I like the thockier sound that the PPT plastic gives, 
and I appreciate how much cheaper an Infinity Key base kit is versus GMK. The biggest trade off I would say are the legends. Definitely not as crisp as GMK, they look to be fuzzier. I think the texture of the Infinity Key keycaps is also playing a role here, along with the die sub method. But this isn't enough to turn me away from Infinity Key in the future because they're clear enough for me. I'm looking forward to having Infinity Key as an option for future group buys. That's it for me today. Please like the video if you found it interesting and subscribe to stay updated on my future content. Until next time.